so those that have been following us closely online, uh, we have identified five strategic initiatives. And our first strategic initiative was to, to really begin to focus on our decarbonization pathway initiative. Um, and so what does that decarbonization pathway look like um, over some period of time? Uh, we also had a strategic initiative work around customer expectations and customer engagement uh, in some uh, of the customer service related work that we wanted to begin to think about in the future. And so uh, in, in the decarbonization pathway, uh, Ms. Mary Fisher gave that presentation. Julie Comstock gave the customer engagement uh, presentation. Uh, Troy Vai, our, our vice president of our energy delivery side, gave one on the increasing need for digitalization, reliability, and resiliency oh. within the T&D system. Uh, and then last month, uh, we had Kate Brown talk about the broader technology needs uh, as we begin to move to the utility of the future and what that strategic initiative work looks like. And this month, it's the fifth, fifth of the five strategic initiatives um, that the management team has really identified based on the strategic directives uh, that the board has given us uh, and the accountability around that that we have to set up these strategic initiatives for that work. And so this one is called Power Through People. It's really focused on um, our, um, our workforce transfer, uh, transfer, transformation that we need to begin to think about as the, as the utility of the future. And so with us today is our Vice President of Human Capital, um, Ms. Mart Sedke, who will kind of take us through uh, the broad high level thought around this strategic initiative. So first, just let me say how humbled I am that you all turned out to hear me speak. <laughs> yeah. I know that's not why you're here, but thank you. Um, so many of you have seen this before as we've gone through the four strategic initiatives that have already been presented. It is apparent that there are human capital implications involved in all of this work. So I'm just going to focus on one. Let's think about smart, net, smart technology. So imagine tomorrow morning when you wake up, your smart personal assistant tells you it's time to get up, plays your favorite song, and helps you get ready to get your day started. That personal assistant's going to tell you what your day is going to look like, maybe even suggest that if you take light rail, you can get 15 to 20 minutes worth of work done on your way to work, and probably pick out an outfit from your closet based on the meetings that you have today that you should think about wearing. Um, Virtual reality and these kinds of smart technologies are already here, um, and they will become much, much more prevalent and a constant companion in our lives. We know that customers want to work with the utility in new ways, whether through more continual and consistent communications or generating their own power, perhaps through solar shingles or batteries. Our workplace is also going to change. Um, let me be clear. We have amazing employees at OPPD, and they'll continue to strengthen our core operations and play an important role in building tomorrow's OPPD. To ensure we have a, an inclusive culture that will support this transformation, we must continue our commitment to ensuring our employees are comfortable with change, are willing to take appropriate risks, can make solid and expedient decisions, understand their decision-making authority, and are able to work collaboratively across the organization and embrace changing technologies that support a new workplace and new ways to serve our customers. We will help our employees become more digitally dexterous and develop the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed to thrive in this new environment. This new digital workplace can be very exciting and drive the organization to new levels of success, but it can create challenges as well, such as security, new expectations for employees, and an exp expectation of always being on due to the mobility that can cause burnout and lead to retention issues. By proactively creating our employees' desired experience in the workplace, we will attract, develop, and retain the talent we need to transform our organization. A colleague of mine points out that work is no longer a contract. It's a relationship with employees. And to sustain high levels of employee engagement and performance, we must continue to build a meaningful relationship between leadership and employees. So what do we know at this point? Um, the amount of change that we are experiencing in our industry is not going to slow down. Uh, we know that organizations that create a culture where employees adapt quickly to change, are agile, flexible, and embrace digitization benefit from higher productivity, cost savings, and a more mobile and agile workforce. 
OPPD must transform to keep pace with our customers' needs and desires and changes in the way our industry conducts business. We have been transforming. For example, we're now using drones for line inspection and repair, designing collaboration spaces in our work environment, partnering with a uh, neighboring utility to deliver service to our customers, deploying technology such as advanced metering infrastructure and RAIN devices to collect customer data and respond more quickly to potential system issues. So transformation is not new to us. We know that we must be proactive in creating new policies and processes and systems driven by technology to support a more agile and flexible workplace. We know that we need to work together with our union leadership to find meaningful and sustainable solutions for the business and our employees. We know that for many employees that have been doing work they love and are good at, talk about changing skill sets can be scary and drive the question, can I do it? We will work with our employees to ensure that they are able to acquire the skills needed for new opportunities that align with both their current and desired skill sets. Our employees have demonstrated their desire to grow their skill sets through participation in programs that we've had, such as the Accelerated Leadership Development Program, Emer Emerging Leaders, the Gatherings, and the Whole Self Series. It is necessary to raise our employees' awareness of what it means to be a digital workplace, the benefits to individuals, to the organization, and to our customers. When employees are more digitally savvy, they are often faster and more creative in their solutions and may even be more engaged. Their personal skills are enhanced and they are more likely to keep pace with skill requirements in the business world. Employees who are curious and who demonstrate a desire to continuously learn and who take ownership of their careers will thrive in this environment. We must create a workplace that is open to innovation and adopting new digital methods while helping our employees navigate this new workplace by creating distinct lines between work and non-work and making the workplace overall more human-centered than technology-centered. So what we don't know, we currently don't know all the new skill sets that our employees will need to bring to future work. But we've already begun gathering data on how we can best address those growing and changing skill sets. For example, we're exploring how we can work with colleges and universities to provide college credit for our employees' work experiences. We're thinking about new and inventive apprenticeship programs that we might develop to help people prepare for other types of careers. And as an example, in California, they have developed an apprenticeship in HR um, so that people don't have to go and get a four-year degree to get a job in HR, but can go through an apprentice program. Um, so we're looking at things like that. How can we be more creative about helping our employees to get prepared for the workplace of the future? As with some of the other initiatives, we don't yet have an estimate of what the costs associated will be. And we also don't know yet exactly how we can best support our employees through the transition. But it will become much clearer once the other strategic initiatives are further developed. So what does this mean for our future? When our workplace has transformed, our employees will be open to change in new technologies and will be resilient and nimble in changing quickly. Employees will have opportunities to participate in experience building that will enable them to transform them, form themselves as the industry and our business transform. We will provide our employees with the tools and knowledge they need to be successful in meeting the ongoing needs of our customers and business. The way we work together and with our customers is changing and employees will be equipped with the tools necessary to quickly respond to that. Our employees have been and will continue to tell us what they want from their workplace. We will listen more deeply and make plans to provide the experience that allows them to excel at work. And our employees will share in creating the experience that they want at work. Um, I was kind of struck as my son Samir began to prepare to go to school at Northwest Missouri State and thinking about what kind of roommate he wanted um, there was a program that they offered called RoomSync. All he had to do was go in and put in kind of his preferences for a roommate, how he likes to work, um, does he smoke, does he not smoke, does he drink, does he not, those kinds of things. And it instantly, when he hit the button and submitted that profile, provided him with a list of potential roommates. 100% match, 85% match, 90% match. <laughs> Imagine the day, and I, I see this happening fairly quickly for us, when our employees can input their knowledge, skills, and abilities, 
and we can bounce that against the types of jobs that we have available in our company and provide them with a list of potential careers that they could pursue and what they need to further develop in their skill set in order to be able to do those jobs. Digitization holds a lot of promise for our future, and we're very much looking forward to addressing it and transforming our workplace to meet the need. Thank you.